it's Sunny Drive Time! Well, I'm back uh, with an update here on the restore of the Earthshaker. It's been uh, about two weeks since we picked the game up and we got a, a fair amount of uh, work done to it so far. Um, I have done a, uh, as you can see, I got the play field sitting up on top of the machine upside down right now. Um, I'm in the process of building a rotisserie because uh, I did decide over the past uh, couple weeks that I am going to um, replace the play field on this machine. So I've ordered a new play field from Canada. It's going to come in here uh, hopefully next week. Yeah, that's why the play field's sitting like this. But I've, while I'm waiting on the uh, new play field to get here, I've been taking the time to start repainting the uh, the cabinet. And um, I've, um, I'm not done. I, I still have uh, quite a bit of work left to do. But uh, the blue I've been working on a lot lately. I pretty much got the whole front done here with the dark blue. This was kind of a tough color to, to get mixed up. And um, I did a little bit of touch up on, on this uh, spiral here as well. Um, I still got to touch up uh, little spots here and there, but, um, and then the coin door will be repainted and all that business as well. And this whole side, um, I've got the blue done over here. Now this, um, I'll show you here the picture. This had a lot of damage, a lot of uh, flaking blue paint on this side. And I did get it all uh, uh, repainted and it came out fairly well. Uh, yesterday, I, um, I got up into the up into the head and repainted all the blue here. Started with a little bit of the red. You know, I've got little spots like this. I've got to got to go back and get. But but I did get all the dark blue um, pretty much done on the head, up inside here, and um, I took this bottom rail off, cleaned it, and painted it underneath of it with the blue just to get everything the, the same even shade. Um, I am going to paint the inside of the cabinet here, this section that you see above the, uh, the play field when it's installed. Um, but I do have to mix up more paint because again, this uh, blue paint, it's a little bit tough. Um, I ended up getting, I ended up getting a, uh, I can show you here, it's a, it's an RAL, what was this? First I got an RAL 5022, a RAL 5. 022 and I thought that was gonna be it and then when I got it it was like more purple so um, wasted some money there so I went back and I got an Oriel 5015 which is not dark enough you can kind of see that there so I ended up taking the two and mixing them together and the purple with the lighter that the purple actually makes this lighter blue a darker blue and then I ended up um, yeah, with, with this color. So this is the dark blue color that I ended up with and that's what you see on the side. So yeah, that's where we're at. Um, still some more painting to, to finish up. Little minor things here and there. And um, I just actually pulled the back glass out because there's a couple little spots here on the back glass I'm gonna try to touch up. So I've been taking the, the trim off of here and uh, cleaning the glass. And I'm going to try to touch this up on the back side and I'll show you how that comes out. Well, so here's the back glass and you can see uh, some damage here uh, that it was scratched at some point. So I've already started to repaint a little bit. Um, repainted uh, a little bit of green here, a little bit of green there, a little bit of brown. And um, it didn't come out too bad. So it's um, this area here. Um, and that area there and that brown there so this green maybe I can fix it it's not quite right it's actually um, the wrong shade completely but I can wipe it off um, I'm sitting here working with this getting ready to put the black line on here and then um, and then the blue and yellow in her hair take a scenic bulk drive today okay. And then here. Okay. Okay, so with those three, it's 
so let's see what that looks like. Black shouldn't be too hard to, uh, to replicate. Yeah, it come out looking pretty good. So you see the black there. So I'll get that filled in, and then I'll start playing with the yellow and the blue here. Um, and then up here, you can see the black that I just put in up there. The black here and the black here. So, Well, here we are. Look what arrived today. This is a reproduction playfield from Classic Playfield Reproductions in uh, Canada. And uh, it's the first time I've gotten a playfield from them. So uh, yeah, it took about three weeks to arrive and i um, pretty excited about getting started here. So I built over the last uh, day or so, I built this uh, rotisserie here. So I've got to figure out a way to attach the play field here to it so that it can't move. And then I can actually rotate this thing and uh, it'll make it a lot easier to reassemble. And now, so yeah, play field looks really good and if there's no uh, vapor, I don't, I don't smell anything so it seems like it's it's pretty well cured. Um, really great details here on the uh, on the inserts. But yeah, overall, uh, it's, uh, it's pretty pretty good. So we got to document how we're starting here, and uh, you know, I've got a next thing I got to do is um, I do have to get the wiring disconnected from the head here. Uh, so um, I'll probably start re removing like standalone items that I can easily remove like these uh, circuit boards and things like that. Um, probably desolder the flipper assemblies and move them over. I'm going to of course rebuild them and clean them. Um, probably move the ramp and of course the, uh, the pivot brackets and all those sorts of things that I can unbolt and move over easily. I'll do that. And then everything else, uh, I'll try to keep the wiring harness for last. Things like this, this is the, uh, the drop target mechanism. Good thing is this can be actually removed. Um, you can unplug it. A lot of stuff is like that. All these light boards, they all have a connector here, so it should go uh, hopefully pretty easy. Knock on wood. And here's a little progress uh, where we're at right now. We got the um, all three of the flipper mechs, um, at least the brackets, cleaned. Uh, changed the bushings here and um, we got them installed on the new play field. Right now I'm sitting here fooling with the slingshots uh, mechanisms and um, yeah, little little things here and there I noticed like there's supposed to be a limiting tab here that prevents this from going down too far and hitting the wood so uh, it doesn't look like it was installed on the old play field. I don't, I don't see any evidence of that there at all so little things like that you'll find and uh, you got to fix up. Uh, so here's the the old play field and I'm kind of working in this area These are the this is the slingshot coil here. These are the flipper coils and the end of stroke switches um, You know, I'm gonna try to move most of the metal parts that I can um, And then keep the coils um, soldered in and then just move everything over uh, all at once um, one thing, uh, it is slow in progress down is there is a lot of key nuts on this play field. All of these uh, tea nuts that you see here all have to be transplanted and moved over. Uh, there's a bunch up here. Um, last night I removed a couple up here near the top of the play field here behind the uh, Earthquake Institute building, or the drop targets actually, in front of the Earthquake Institute. So these I put in last night and, uh, and a couple here. Yeah, so far uh, things are going well. I got the um, Earthquake Institute here, the building. Um, took that apart uh, last night and uh, cleaned all the internal parts, put, brand, um, put LEDs in there, polished the plastic face, cleaned all the uh, hardware. So I get all the, all the metal parts here and then I'll, I'll uh, take the, the wiring harness remove all the hardware holding it down and then we'll slide it onto a piece of cardboard and move it over and um, and that's how we'll get it from from the old to the new so well we've finally moved all the wiring over onto the new play field and um, I've just started screwing the first couple things down uh, like a switch here and some clamps but really haven't done much else just wanted to kind of show yeah, I tried to keep things somewhat in the right area, but uh, piece by piece we'll have to go through and 
and figure out where everything mounts back to and um, you know I had uh, started by moving over all the mechanisms and some cable clamps to get an idea of where things went but eventually you just got to bite the bullet and move everything over and then fish it around and figure out where it all goes so that's kind of where we're at now and uh, looks like a big jumble of mess and it is but we'll get there and um, over here the only thing on the old play field I didn't move was uh, some of this GI um, I left it in place and I'm gonna move that over because I don't think I'm gonna use the braided wire idea I think I'm just gonna run uh, some black and red wires uh, or whatever colors I can come up with uh, to actually uh, run the GI um, yeah so that's kind of where we're at and uh, yeah make some updates as we go